All right, so we're here at Haskell Noise Golf Course in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, my name is Brock. I'm John. And uh, we're starting a new series. We're going to do the best and worst courses, uh, ideally in each state. We live in Wisconsin, so we're starting with Wisconsin. And uh, Wisconsin. Well, this course is something. Uh, very steep entry. It's uh, $7 to play here. And uh, we don't get a cart or a caddy or, or anything. So uh, we got to carry the clubs today. It should be fun. Uh, John, you got anything else you want to add to uh, we're going to have a fun time out here, and we're going to try to review a few aspects of the course. Yeah. We're looking at location, we're looking at course condition, and just, you know, is it, I mean, for $7, like, we get it. It's not going to be, you know, we're not expecting to play at, you know, the Masters here, Augusta National, but, uh, you we'll know, to... it's, it's, you know, it's a low-reviewed course, and it's $7 probably for a reason, I imagine, so And we're we'll going to try to give you guys a good review on every course that we do, give it an overall score, and, uh, Let's have a good time. Yeah, let's do it. What a beautiful clubhouse. I'd rather get one card stolen than two. <laughs> All right, first impression. The employees are great because there's none. You just pay. You just pay. I mean, that's... You can't have a bad employee experience if there's no employee, John. That's true. There you go. This is like sand wedge territory. I don't I even know. think we need our, I mean, anything below. Probably don't need half these bags, man. No. First tee, let's see how we do. A little, little short, but it's not a bad start. Not a bad start. I'm not usually good with my irons. Rounder. We're up there. Not too bad. Something. So as far as location, kind of right off the road. Some warehouses Definitely in the some background. Traffic noise. Some uh, power lines right in the fairway. It's kind of nice. Breck, you didn't even tell me you were swinging. I mean, to be fair, actually not terrible greens. It's a little long, but it's uh, it's not bad. Could be worse. Not perfect. But for seven dollars, it's all right. Oh fuck! Bye this ball. Like a repeat of our first video. John for bogey. Greens are a little slow. <laughs> and there's a nice just billboard. Well, that's for the golf course at least. But yeah, look at me. What is this? Power lines in the Eiffel Tower. Par putt here. Send it. <laughs> yeah, these greens are very slow. <laughs> there we go. Nice Starting go. with a double bogey. Not exactly what we want, but uh, me and John are terrible golfers, as evident by our first video. So, not bad. It just stops on the I like. Know. It just stops, man. Like that would have been nice otherwise. There we go. Not too bad. Seven for you. Yep. All right. Let's keep it moving. The scenery is really something, John. What is up with this fairway, though? We got dead grass <laughs> Dude, and then just the, a nice little. The fairway is like the size of. A yeah, small we got house, like a maybe? nice little patch here that somebody decided to take care of, and not the rest of it. So they probably won't be able to hear this on camera, but do you hear like... Yeah, you can hear the static and the power lines. It's, it's, it's something. It is something. So I actually took a look at the course map, and uh, John, we have all par threes today. Yeah. It's Not a uh, single. The longest hole, 190 yards. So uh, I don't think like half these clubs, well, you, you took a lot of yours out, but... I don't think you need half of them. Though. You don't need. You need like three clubs to play this course. That is, you need like maybe a pitching wedge. Honestly, if you're good, you need two: a pitching wedge and a putter. I think you could just do it. Yeah, I think you could just do it with those two. I'm taking a sand wedge on this one. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Have you seen a bunker here? No, I haven't seen one yet. So, all pretty, pretty straight too. No dog legs yet. There's a little creek here. I don't know how we're gonna get over, but send we'll, it. Uh, we'll send it.
Uh, I heard a tree. Yeah, we're not sitting too good on this one. <laughs> hmm. We made the creek. That's all that matters. I think someone's sitting uh, in the I, didn't, I didn't hit a tree like you. Might be rolling into the tree. Dude, I'm sorry. I'll admit it. I'm spoiled. We need golf carts, man. I don't like this. It's like it's like Florida today. It's like 80 and just gross. Like I feel like I'm sticky. Especially wearing that shirt. <laughs> Dude, this is a fit, by the way. Ladies, yeah, just, just so you know, I am single. So. And you will be forever. It's not really a creek. It's more like a like a battle trench. <laughs> like, it's not even really water in it. John shanked his ball. He doesn't know where it's at. Oh, look, I found my ball. <laughs> Playing awful. You're a little short of the green, bud. No shit. This electricity noise is distracting. It's pretty good. Jesus. It's on the green at least. I don't think it is. F what is this? This is four already. Is that counting the drop? It's not counting the drop. That didn't happen. I found my ball. Oh. Not terrible. Ready? This is four par. We kind of you do have to send it on these greens, so we're gonna do a nice little send here and hope for the best. Come on! Oh, it's close. All right, let me just let me just hopefully get my my bogey here, and we'll call it a day. Womp womp. There we go. I almost, I almost didn't go in. All right, so six, six and five, six and five. On to the next one. Also, I can still hear the electricity. So of course, we're only recording every other hole out here. And the one hole that I, this is my first, if I make this putt, it's my first ever par on a hole. And if I miss this putt, I might quit the sport. So. Let's go. We did it. I like to see Breck's improvement. The chooches are getting a little better. Again. Yes. I mean. Not, we cannot say even decent. But, but we can I, say better. Like, like this would have been like uh, last year when I first started playing golf. We probably would have been like nine shots on this hole. And that might be light. So. It's better. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. What a sight. Nice, scenic, enjoyable round of golf. What? Come on, man. A 70-yard hole. It's the shortest hole I've ever seen in my life. On the green. Perfect. I'll take it. Nice shot. Thank you. What uh, what club are you gonna use here, John? Uh, you know, I'm thinking about a uh, putter. Off the tee box. Off the tee box. Why, bro? Off the deck. I mean, dude, it's 70 yards, bro. I put that in my sleep. <laughs> You're gonna tee up a putter. I'm okay. teeing up the putter. All right, let's let's see how this goes. Here we go. Another practice there. <laughs> Your part was a little long. That's that's incredible on you. Oh, that tee's dead. Yeah, tee's dead. All right. Five bucks says he's just gonna drop another ball. So I'm on a bit of a scavenger hunt for my ball right now. You know, obviously, with being able to putt 100 yards, that <laughs> happens. What you got in your hand there, bud? Just don't worry about it. 
<laughs> oh, look, I found it. Mm. Maybe on the green, maybe one. I mean, the greens are slow. <laughs> so this is not an ideal situation. I'm going to have to put it's this in for par a mile far. away. This putt might be longer than the hole. Yeah. Oh, it's gone. Ooh! It jumped right over the it, hole. It jumped right over the hole, yeah. All right, for the, for the first birdie on the channel. Can we do it? Ooh. No, we can't. But hopefully, maybe. Second par. We take a par. Two back-to-back -back pars, we'll take it. You're such a tool. Tap turn for five. Does that count the drop? I, what, I don't know what you're talking about. Ah, the nice manicure path, so Pascal noise. It's getting a little rusty. Well, I think we took a wrong turn here because it says we're on the first tee. But it says oh. six, so I'm a little confused on like what we're actually on. Yeah, I wonder what par this is. <laughs> par two? Just barely cleared I the creek. the war trench on that one. Overall, like, not a bad course, though. I mean, scenery could be a little bit better, but, but they... For $7? They honestly. reasonably keep up the fairways, greens. Like, this actually is not awful. Like, I kind of expect it. And so the other thing, too, like, I don't know if anybody watches this from the area, but Milwaukee's not known to be, like, the most safe area. There's a lot of crime. Kias get stolen, like, left and right. You know, it's, it's a whole thing. And, uh... It's actually not bad. Like I don't. It's not in a terrible area. It's not like it's in the middle of high crime zone or anything. And it's actually well, pretty. Depends on the area. Coming in, you have to drive through a little. I mean, John's a tweak. I'm, you know. As seen in the St. Louis video. I'm, I'm balling over here. I'm not. I ain't dude, worried about. That but, is not a money symbol. That is by a money way. symbol. You're stupid. It's that a dollar is, sign, dude. No, that's a brand logo. It's a dollar sign. That shirt is just. Because I can't I'm, even take you seriously wearing that. But anyway, yeah, nice not course. a bad course. What are you afraid of? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm gonna hit somebody on the next hole. <laughs> it popped out. If it splashed and it popped thing. out. I had nothing to worry about with hitting the bodies <laughs> up. Whoa! Alright, I mean, that's the fault of the green. Alright, fairway. There's craters everywhere. Also, on that side, Where? Show me a crater. Dude, there's literally holes all over the fairway. You gotta go Where? Show me, show me. Look at it. You can see them. The big cuts. Ah. You know, it's also 100 degrees out here. <laughs> and it's humid. I'm sweating like a pig, so I mean, it doesn't help my uh, performance today. So you're just a bad player and the course is great? Breck trying to tell me there's no craters in the not. in the fairway. It's a nice fairway. It's okay. Bye. I mean, you know, if the ground wasn't so hard right here, like I would have got the club more. Oh, gotcha. I will say though, the fairway does just kind of turn into the green. Like, there's a very, very faint line of. Where it starts and where it ends. I mean, you can see it, but like, it's light. I mean, if you want a putter chip, that's on you, man. That's a very nice chip, John. Thanks for this great course, no doubt. It's for par. Okay. Ooh, not I bad. I will say, I actually prefer putting on these greens. They're thick, and the ball doesn't travel as far, but you can kind of give it a nice little whack, and I, I actually think it's easier to putt than, like, a very nice... Maybe it's just because I'm a bad golfer, but I actually like putting here, and I've done better putting here than I normally do, so...
I'm actually going to say I, I like the putting here. I'm going to disagree, but oh. it's not bad. You're wrong, so. You're wrong. <laughs> I mean, look at the blue <laughs> Dude, and the dude, just do your next putt. Get your double par. I still stand behind what I said on the par. The Wait, park. what'd you say about these greens? I said they're nice. Mm -hmm. They're actually nice. No. If the greens are a little bit better kept and they're shorter, uh -huh. the ball should roll how you expect it to. Whereas this is like thick, unpredictable. You don't yeah. really, you can't yeah, get a good read on how it's gonna lie. Predictable, so. No, you can't just expect hey. to like hit it hard I'm and it's gonna be. I mean, I'm not saying I'd be good at a five, but I do better because of Okay, nice car. It is a little weird that they basically, instead of just making this like one long hole, there's the tee box for this hole, there's that, yeah, and then there's cool. like the tee box way back there for that hole that that guy's on right there. It's kind of kind of odd. I honestly think one hole at a nicer course would be the size of three of these put together. Probably. John, apparently on the last hole, you can just tee off wherever you want because there's no... Yeah, there's no tee there's no, Yeah. It's just... That sounds like an advantage to me. Oh no. That's it. Just a little bit. Do you even tee that up? No, I haven't teed any of these up today. Why? It's an iron bro. You, what do you, you can tee still for? you can still tee irons I on the tee box. Why? So you don't hit ten feet. Okay, I didn't hit ten feet on most of the other ones. Oh, you got to tee it up, quick. That didn't happen. John the landscaper. Hey, John. That's how you don't hit it in the woods, by the way. I just thought you might want to know. Thank you. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, I just, I just want to help you out, you know. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, I feel like I'm doing more forest finding than actually golfing today. I think I've had a pretty good drop on every hole that we've recorded. And Wait, you took a drop today? No. Well, kind of. Okay. Uh, oh. I didn't take any drops on the ones we didn't film, truthfully. But uh, not doing so well on these ones. So, oh, wow, look at that. Found it again. Watch out for the woods. <laughs> this is awful. And another drop was taken. It's okay, buddy. Hard part, if I make this, then be a pretty good round of golf for me. Sent it. Thought I was gonna slow, uh, thought the greens were gonna slow it down a little more. But once again, I just stopped counting, so I, I don't even know what I'm on. Getting a little bit frustrated. I feel that, like this, that, that looks yeah, a little, little rough, yeah, but. Yeah, this looks a little rough. There's a few divots there that I'm a little worried about. We're gonna pull a little uh, pepper on this one. Dude. Oh. Whoa! Dude, that was that was crazy, John. That was some that was a that was a really good putt. That was insane, dude. I mean, you even you even went over the yeah. the rough part and everything. Dude, are you ready to admit that yeah. these greens are it yet? I'm a little worried about like I'm gonna go to a normal green and just smoke it <laughs> because you have to hit a little harder on these ones. Yeah, for so sure. It, it, I don't know if it's the best practice, but it's that was a good still nonetheless. It's all right, I'll very like nice. A little better now. Not enough juice on that one. Well, that was six for me. The putting probably put you about even with me. So, uh, how many drops did you take, sir? I took one on this hole. Check the video. One drop. 
All right, well, that was Haskell. Is it Haskell or Pascal? Noise? Haskell. Haskell. With an H. Noise. Golf course. We're gonna do a, a breakdown of everything, but it is once again we're dying right. out here, and uh, we'll we'll recap back in the good old good old home home turf and the AC. All right, so we're back. Uh, we kind of finished up our round there. We played nine holes. Uh, just as a disclaimer, we are going to um, probably in the future we're probably going to do every other hole just because like this is a Saturday that we're doing this. We're both off work today. Uh, you know, we got to keep it moving a little bit. It does take a little longer to film. Um, and then the other thing, so we're going to give it a score. So we have five categories that we're going to talk about, and then we're going to talk about the price in relation to the value for that. So this may change as we do more videos. Obviously, we don't know if this is the number, like, you know, if we play a bunch of these and we realize this one's actually really good or really bad for worst courses, we may adjust it in the future. So just yeah. keep, just if that ever changes, that's why. But, and quick overall thoughts on the course. Like I thought it was pretty decent. Uh, I was, you know, a little surprised. Like people were rating this pretty awful on Google. And yeah, it, it they was, were. It's like truly not that bad. So I, I think, uh, and, you know, and that's kind of what we did. I mean, we went off Google reviews. I mean, that's, I mean, because the worst is objective. Like, there's not going to be like, a, this is 100% the worst. Um, but this is what everyone kind of said was really bad. And I mean, so for starters, it was $7 for nine holes, or you could pay 11 to play the same nine holes twice. You only have nine holes. You don't get to play nine different holes for that. Uh, so that was the price for that. Um, location and scenery wise, uh, on a scale, of, this is all on a scale of one to 10. Uh, we said this was a three. So it's in Milwaukee. It's not too far from the downtown area, probably 15 minutes from downtown Milwaukee. Um, and it's just, you know, there's a lot of power lines. There's a lot of, I and mean, you can hear like the power lines running and stuff. There's a busy road. You don't get, you know, there's a lot of buildings uh, on maybe holes six, seven. It was a little more scenic, like as you kind of got back in there a little bit, um, but nothing overall too crazy. Uh, quality, we're going to give it a six. Um, it wasn't bad. The greens are long. I actually like that. Um, but it wasn't all beat up or anything. I mean, honestly, I mean, I would almost say a seven, but just because the greens are, you know, there was a couple spots where it was a little rough, but once again, $7. Right. John did worse than me. So John's, yeah, John's I'll talk qualified about to talk about difficulty. <laughs> yeah. So by the way, uh, we're doing combined scores on this. It came to conclusion, me and Brad, yeah. we wanted to give difficulty a zero, but, uh, I kind of, oh, right. I kind of argued that. There is elevation changes. There's probably a lot worse courses out there as far as difficulty. Um, there wasn't any sand traps, which I'm sure Breck would find if there were. But uh, there were, well, you know, there was some creeks and some there was things. definitely some trees. I mean, there's definitely yeah. some trees. Uh, they weren't super wide fairways, but I'd say overall difficulty two, hazards two, and finally professionalism. I, we're given that a three. Because and that's a weird one yeah, to rate too. it's a weird one to rate but i figure that like some courses are going to be like very nice you have like caddies awesome service this one was a little weird we paid with a qr code walking up to there there's no employees yeah. and it was just it was a little like, odd I, I probably shouldn't say this on film but like we didn't have to pay we did because yeah. i'm like you know i mean it, it's the right thing to do like it'd be kind of wrong for us just to walk up on the course and not pay but there's nobody there we didn't see a single person checking if people paid and i mean it's literally like if you didn't know what you were doing you might not even realize you have to pay yeah honestly and like there were a few guys out here that were very nice but you know just wearing like gym shorts and stuff so it's like yeah, not, it's not definitely not like a very dress you know dress up course but overall honestly for seven dollars it's not bad like it it we drove about an hour for this it's not worth an hour drive if you're just trying to go but if you want to practice your short game i mean the longest hole is 109 yards the shortest is 70. I mean, you really, I mean, you can bring two or three clubs and you're going to be fine. Bring a nine iron, a pitching wedge, and a putter. And yeah. I mean, you might even be able to get away with two, but. It was a little weird feeling. Like, it almost feels like you're taking a nature walk and just happen to bring your golf club. Yeah, with you. a very, little bit. Very short, but it was, it was interesting. It was fun. Yeah, but it was actually not too bad. I don't think this deserved all the hate that it got on Google Maps. So, uh, if you guys have any questions for us, leave it in the comments. If you have any thoughts on the videos, leave it in the comments. Uh, if you know any terrible golf courses yes. in other states, leave it in the comments. We... Please please give us suggestions on awful courses and uh, best courses as well. Yes, we want to do best courses eventually, but, uh, you know, that's a little more. I need more poles with dollar signs on them. So. <laughs> but, all right, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been the Chooches, and I will see you in the next video. See, if the greens are a little bit... So, or, uh, harder, a little bit longer. <laughs> I can't, I fucked that up. Let's record this real quick just to make sure it's like good bike when frame.